Panic today in Hawaii. This is after officials uh, issued a missile alert on accident. Every cell phone on the island, TVs, they all got this warning for an impending missile strike. It said, seek shelter. Use the words, this is not a drill. At the University of Honolulu here, people watching students running for safety. The state, of course, has been preparing for a potential attack as North Korea continues testing ballistic missiles. Uh, it was uh, a procedure uh, that occurs at the change of shift where they go through to make sure that um, the system is working and uh, an employee pushed the wrong button. Hawaii's governor has reiterated the importance that the public have confidence in the emergency alert system. President Trump has been briefed on the situation. As you can imagine, people living on that island today, it had to have been terrifying when they saw that information on their TVs, on their phones. We have Yona Gavino. She's live with that part of the story for us in Dallas at the CBS Tower. Yona. Dan, right behind me, let me show you this picture. This is Joe Benavides and his new wife, Drew. These pictures were taken in St. Petersburg in Florida, but right now the couple is in Hawaii, and it's their last day. And he tells me this morning he got quite the shock when he got the alert. He says he nearly fell out of bed. Now, Joe tells me the time in Hawaii and Maui where the couple are staying, it's actually around 7.30 a.m. local time. That was when he and his new bride were sleeping when both of them started hearing the alarms. He woke her up and they took shelter immediately in the bathroom. Outside their hotel, they heard footsteps as other guests scrambled to find safety. He says about 40 minutes later, he heard an announcement from the TV that was playing in his room. It said, this is a false alarm. Still, all of those tense moments leading up to that relief, he says, were filled with panic and fear. Within minutes, the alarm in the hotel went off, and then they have this uh, big PA speaker uh, in every room. And then someone, I guess, from downstairs in the lobby just started saying, this is not a drill. Please take cover. Stay away from the windows. And that's when we really got scared. And you can see here the time frame again about 8.07 when they continued getting those initial alerts right here. 8.45 a.m. local time in Hawaii when Joe next got this alert. It said, there is no missile threat or danger to the state of Hawaii. Repeat, false alarm. So you can just imagine all of that tension that the couple was feeling. Stay with us because tonight at 10, we'll have their full story and more about what they experienced. Dan.